Hello and welcome back. Today is Monday, March 3rd, and this is episode 82 of NoobTube, weekly independent podcast where we are playing Dragon Quest Swords Fable Edition. All right. See, this is my new house. Oh, yeah. I've got a beautiful backyard. Check it out, man. My dog's playing over there. Oh, yeah. Your dog? Oh, oh, dead dog. Oh, fucking bastard. All right. Well, I'm going to kill your pregnant wife. Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, oh that's hey, right. that's a nice house you got. Yeah, hey, how that's about right. oh, pour in the gasoline? <gasps> no, what? The, light no. the match! Oh, oh, you bastard! My fucking house! Yeah. Oh. All right, so maybe Dragon Quest Fable Edition isn't the best idea. No, we shouldn't play that anymore, probably so. not. Yeah. I'm Tobin Kozire. I'm Yuzo Watanabe. This week we are covering a hell of a lot of good games this yes. time again. We've got Dragon Quest Swords, Woo! Pixel Junk Monsters, Forum Wars, and of course, The Club. I thought you said good games. Mm. No. New releases Spoiler. include Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Army of Two, Bully Scholarship Edition, oh, God yeah. of Wars, oh. Chains of Olympus, and Dawn of War Soulstorm. Ooh, that is uh, a lot of games. My yes. wallet hurts just thinking about what we're going to have to go through next week. In a good way. In a good way. As always, we'll finish up with our culture, community news, and site news, but let's get started with our feature game, Dragon Quest Swords. Ooh, oh. Google. Oh, if the Wiimote could only get us, get us Dude, alcohol in you, real life. Can you imagine? I'd just be sitting on my couch all day, just... Oh. Yeah, just like... Oh. <laughs> that's the perfect... That's a killer app of the Wiimote. I man. love it. Mm. Okay, so we have Dragon Quest Swords. Yes. I actually did not get to play this. I could not find a Blockbuster. It was not around. I know. I kept telling you. I kept telling <sighs> you. It's like, you got to try You got to try it. So but Nothing, huh? Like, what, is it good? Is it, it is like, good. Wow, what's so good about it? I like it. So, uh, so I told you about um, the whole thing is you get to do a lot of interface stuff with the uh-huh. screen. So mm-hmm. it's all about learning patterns. They'll be like, hmm. you know, these guys will have things where they, they shoot stuff at you. You know, a blue dot will show up on the screen, and you have to target it with the Wiimote and then swing at the right moment to hit their tr- projectiles you, back at them. When you say swing, do you use the you, nunchuck or do you just like... It's just, it's just the Wiimote. Oh, so no no, point, no, no so nunchuck. Oh, really? Okay. So you point, and when you hit the, the A button, it yeah. targets. So you can put a, a, a target, oh. and that's where you're going to swing. So you go shunk. So it's kind of like a really weird version of like locking on. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. But it's, it even does like if you swing like this, it does a diagonal. If it swing like this, it does down. So oh. enemies will show up in formations. So a bunch oh. of slimes will show up in a line yeah. or in a cross. They'll be flying across, and you have to do this, and you have to swing. Does it actually measure like like once you do your swing? Is it actually measuring like how you swing? Can you yeah. like miss? Uh, well, I mean, you can. You know what I mean? If you if you just swing real quick. Yeah. You know, you might get a diagonal when you need a, a horizontal. Oh, like you so actually you like have this. to be very careful with your orientation. Oh, okay. And then there's all this crazy shit where, like, once you kill a bunch of enemies, it yeah. charges up your power so you can do, like, go like this. And it, like, you, you know. Like, like, I have the power. Yeah, like fucking <laughs> Castle Grayskull. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, ah, um, and then, you know, you get, you like, different Skeletor? weapons. No. no. Oh, fuck. See? Yeah, and you don't get that little whiny fucking monster. Orko. Orko. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Isn't that snarf? That's just like snarf, actually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, so it sounds like like it's got a couple of game elements, but yeah. what is the game like? I so mean, the game is, it's around. an RPG, so okay, you when you're killing there. stuff, you get gold and experience, you level up, you have different all party right. members. Are you walking through a dungeon? Are you walking yeah. through town? Like, what's you the walk deal? Through, I mean, it's, it's all pretty varied, because you can walk through a dungeon, you sometimes hop on rafts, and you'll be like riding through a river, and you're fighting shit well, while sounds you're going. It's like it's on a rail, though. Like, how, how are you controlling where you move? You steer with the X, with the, with the 8 oh. So it's like, it's on a wide rail. So it's not moving for you, but like you're walking on a path, right? Like oh, it's not, you're okay. not exploring very much. No, 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 no. And right. it's got a little bit of the uh, the kind of skill-based thing to it where every time you finish a level, mm-hmm. you get a score on how many things you blocked, how many things you killed, how much damage mm-hmm. you took, and it gotcha. gives you like an A to an F. How do you get the blocks? Like how do you do that? Uh, you pull the trigger and it holds up a shield. So I mean, it's got it's it's really varied for what it is. See all the stuff you're telling me right now. It sounds like it has the total recipe, if not in the hands of Square Enix, of some say lesser developer, perhaps. Yes. It has like Ninja Bread Man written all over it. It's you know true. what I mean? It's true. I mean, it, like it, John, if it just... wasn't Square Enix, I bet yeah. this would have been terrible. Because, but that's funny. I mean, like it's, it sounds really gimmicky. I mean, you're swinging a sword, you're doing yeah. all this stuff, but it. But it works. It really does. It really all works right, because that's... because every level you get like. 10 new enemies that you've never seen uh-huh. and everyone has a different movement pattern. Wait, you're talking about like metallic slimes, blue no, no, no. slimes, no, no, green no. slimes? No, no, no. they'll be like, seriously, totally, they're completely different. Really? Like, so actually, they'll, they'll be, you know, different knights and flying things and they'll like... And they're know. all taken from like the Dragon Quest, yeah. like whatever, persona. Okay. So you know what I would actually liken it to a lot yeah. of times? 
Mike Tyson's punch out. Wait, what? The fighting. Because <laughs> it's like <laughs> Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, body because blow, like, you remember like Mike Tyson's punch <laughs> out. The, the dudes would show up and they'd have yeah. the patterns. Yeah. And you'd be like doing the little like block and fight yeah, and block and whatever. Dodge. So that's what it's like. Oh. It's like it's like Mike Tyson's punch out where you're like up there with the <laughs> Wiimote. Instead of like Mike Tyson or whatever. You it's have, like a like fucking a bunch orc. Of slime. Yeah. <laughs> bunch well, of slimes. You, so and like, but you're saying like, like the dodging aspect of Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. You're bringing up the shield. Mm-hmm. So, so are you telling me then, like, you need to learn other patterns or other types of moods to be able to defeat certain monsters? Yeah, yeah. What about boss characters? The I mean, boss characters are, like, super elaborate monsters where they'll have, mm-hmm. like, the henchmen coming, so... This actually sounds <laughs> really interesting. I mean, I, I was looking at them, like, this looks like a kitty game, dude. It, it, it does. It looks like a kitty game, but I was, <sighs> I mean, I was really pleasantly surprised that it, wow. it every level, it kind of steps up the, you know, steps uh-huh. up the funk, you know, it gets... The funk? <laughs> I don't know, it's just, James Brown comes out, you gotta fight him. Like, what? what? <laughs> Get on back, alright. So but like, then, what, but like... then, you know, it's got all the, it's got very simple collecting elements where you go back to town, you can buy, like, Someone loves better swords <laughs> or better weapons, but it's not right. like you're collecting 50 of them and trying to decide which one to keep. Oh, you're just getting money okay. to make your sword better. Getting, oh, you know, interesting. Like, so it's kind of like RPG Lite. Yes. So you can see, like, maybe it's good for 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, kind of that 30 age. 30-year-olds. 30-year-olds. But I'm saying, like, like you know, like, you wouldn't really give, like, a 10-year-old, like, a super a complex RPG. or something like yeah, that. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, like, like, the, like, like we were talking about Patapone, that was kind of an introduction. Yes. Is this sort of what Yeah, totally, because sure. the heart and soul of the game is this, right? That, like, it's just, just the fighting. Like, the RPG stuff is just... You look kind of like an idiot, though, when you're doing... I, I'm sure I do. I look like a complete <laughs> idiot, and, and I, I have... I have Given up myself to that, like I don't, right. I don't mind anymore. It's so we, okay. Ever since we sports, yeah, I don't play like, we sports <laughs> anymore. I'm saying, but that broke me. Okay. Whereas, okay. like, as soon as I was up there playing tennis, like a jackass, yeah, I was I like golf, like yeah. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. Damn shoop. Damn you. Damn you. <laughs> they but, use that one too. I know this one. Ugh. I knew they would. Every um, time we say it, we know they would, but. So I, I honestly really like a enthousi- is it enthusiastic enthusiastic thumbs it's up. It's kind of I think it's budget too. You we rented it, but I I don't think it's full price. I think yeah. it's like a sixty dollar. Maybe I don't know. But I, th- I think it might be like a forty. Forty. But I mean, yeah. I rented it, so cool. I I don't want to give it back. I'm I'm seriously like really yeah. I'm seriously thinking about keeping it because I I beat like the first five Dude, levels. You can have well, oh, you have Hollywood, right? So you're just gonna end up paying twenty bucks. <laughs> That's true. I can just keep it as long you as could, I want. Yeah. As long as you don't care about any of the game. Yeah. I don't care about any of the game, right? Except <laughs> so. yeah, except next week. Oh. Next week we're screwed, dude. We're not yeah. gonna be able to get half the <laughs> yeah, half the good games coming out. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'm either coughing or sneezing, man. I'm telling you during this podcast, allergic it's to cats. That's what it cats is. Cats in the house. Meow. Yes. Okay, so Dragon Swords. I'm gonna try it. I yeah. you've convinced me. Yeah, it so is. So maybe I'll borrow it from you. you no, <laughs> that's my one. That's my one game from Hollywood. <laughs> Give I'll, me twenty bucks. Hey, I'll let you borrow the game I'm borrowing for. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I want to borrow this game. So what you got? Okay, what so got? I'm I'm doing the you know the game pass. Like we, yeah. Hollywood should pay us because Blockbuster. We mentioned Blockbuster a lot of times, and they started sucking, so we went to Hollywood. And we like, should. Yeah, Hollywood should sponsor us for as much press as we give them. That's right. The game pass. They actually have games in stock, and they had the club in stock, but they mm-hmm. didn't have the 360 version. I wanted that for the achievements because oh. if I'm going to get anything out of this game, I want the achievements. Yeah. But I got the PSP version because they had like two. Yeah. <laughs> you know why yeah. not? So it's the demo. Remember the demo? Like, what would you describe the oh, demo? Oh, I remember the demo. How would you describe the demo in ass. your own words? Okay, ass. As, as, <sighs> ass. Ass. I, I would say but you didn't that, even like the demo. No, I mean, the demo was, it didn't make me enough to play it all the way through, yeah. but I was just like, okay, this is interesting. Maybe if, like, the stuff they keep me from, yeah. like, because it's just a demo, maybe that is more interesting, <laughs> I would be entertained. But... I, just, I just like to go back to the point where you said it didn't interest me enough to finish the demo. <laughs> But I saw potential. I got you. I got you. I saw potential. I'm yeah. all like, okay, well, there's this this mode, this game mode. I know there's yeah. going to be like 20 other game modes. Yeah. And they all kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so what would you describe the game? Okay, as? so this, like? this game is, is kind of like if you took um, Gran Turismo or like, I don't know, better yet, Project Gotham Racing okay. as a racing game. And then you got Geometry Warriors. Yeah. By War, rather. Yeah. And then... You kind of mash them up together and mm-hmm. said, "Okay, I'm going to make a first-person shooter driving game." Hmm. Plus, plus like Link's crossbow training, where you and get, Link's like, crossbow yeah. training, yeah. So you kind of add Throw that them in, too, right? You, you just kind of mix up. them all up, and you get ass. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> but it's, mix all the colors together, you get brown. You get. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got a big heaping pile of brown. Big now, pile of brown. But it's really polished. It's really well done. You can kind of tell. I think they might have got like the guy who did Geometry Wars and said, "Hey," and the guy that did because it's Bizarre Creations. They both they made both games. Oh. So they're like two guys like, "Oh yeah, dude, let's let's do this yeah. great new idea." And the, the idea is really cool. Yeah. I like the idea a lot. It's the implementation. Implementation was like, okay, here you are. You're gonna start from the beginning. It's the end of a level. Uh-huh. It's gonna be like a track. Yeah. So sometimes you're gonna be doing laps. So really? you'll go, and then you'll go, and you'll be doing the same thing. So it's like you're walking through a, a, a jail. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I was just here. And, and you're trying you to, like, headshot all the people. Two out of three, three out of three. And it's just like, I, 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 so instead of the guys popping up here, the guys popping well, up Well, you're not here. kidding. It actually says laps? I, I think so. I don't remember. But it's just, <laughs> it's, just it's the same yeah, thing over like, and over again. I'm all like, where's the lap meter? You know That's what I mean? fucked up. So I'm doing that. I'm like, okay, this the is... the red shells? <laughs> I would, I would have liked the red shell, yeah. actually. No, but the whole concept is, okay, instead of uh, in a driving game, you're worried about the lines. Yeah. So you want to make sure you do the driving lines. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, concept yeah, yeah. Familiar to you. I, I know you hate driving games. It sounds games. awful. <laughs> <laughs> lines. Uh. Yeah, so you have these lines that you try to follow, and, and the whole point of doing these racing games is you do them over and over and yeah. over again so, you so that you get the brake yeah. at the right time and yeah. all that. And you know how I don't like that. That's no. why we like, like the schmucks. arcade. Exactly. Yeah. But this is kind of like you, you add a shmup to, to a first-person shooter because you're worried about... You, you basically have to sprint all the time sure. because you want to finish it. Right. You have to hit sure. each guy... And never miss. Because no, you, you can the miss. point multipliers, no, 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 right? No, you can miss. Okay. But you have to hit them within a certain amount of time where your combo goes away. Okay. So every guy you kill is 1x combo, so you can get like 2, 3, 4, yeah, 5, yeah, 6. Yeah, yeah. And then you have this little timer that goes down, 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 down. down. Like, right. and I don't want to go too much detail, but the whole point is you need to memorize where everybody is in the map. Yeah. So you go shoot, run, shoot, run, and there's these little like skulls that you need to hit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So for for people out there, if you really sorry, if you really like the Call of Duty uh, tutorial, where you have to finish this thing in twenty mm, seconds, yeah, yeah, and you basically have to memorize where everybody is. If you love that, that's who this is for. That's who this is for. It's like you like shmups, you like shmups, and memorizing and things, memorizing things, and racing games, racing games. But unfortunately, but not in a good way because you like you know. <sighs> Well, actually, you don't like I like some stuff. of that stuff. Yeah, some of that but stuff. You like memorizing. But stuff. here's my problem with the game. My, the core problem with the game is that the FPS fundamentals yeah. of the game reminds me of all the console first-person shooters I hate. Mm, yeah. You know, remember like you're finding it feels a little sluggish. Yeah. It feels like you're not doing like Call of Duty was the first console game that said, "Look, first-person right. shooters on consoles are, are fun. You yeah. can actually get responsive, mm-hmm. and, and they did the controls right." This is just like you know Halo to an extent. Yeah. All those other crappy ones that I just Well, hate. I told you when, when you when we reviewed the demo that if this had been with a mouse and keyboard, I might have liked it. Because so you know, I'm like dialing in. I'm like, kabow, 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 kabow. Really? Yeah. You're going to play it now? No. <laughs> you can't rent PC games. <laughs> no. You're going to buy so, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if there's a demo. If there's a demo. Maybe if I will a demo. play the demo and I'll... It, like. It, uh, if the demo's really good, then I'll think about it. <laughs> and then you said we always still won't buy it. It's got to be good enough to pay for. That's the thing is like, you know, we rentals rent- I can rent, but I mean like. It's no skin. 60 bucks for Like that game better suck my dick is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that better it's be. Like cheap whore yeah, or game. <laughs> that better be the shit before I'm paying yeah, 60 bucks so, for a PC you game. You know, I just felt, I felt disappointed. I was just okay. like, okay, this great concept, this amazing thing, because it's a really cool idea. Yeah. It's a cool idea. Ass Implementation game. ass. Gotcha. Thumbs down. Um, All right. Uh, another Junk game Monster. I didn't get a chance to play this one either, but no. you did. Uh, I'll go over quickly because Pixel Junk Monsters on PlayStation Network. It's uh, one of the new downloadable games you pay ten bucks for. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Flawless1984. He's on our forums. Yeah, thanks, dude. He's using the sharing feature, which yes. is absolutely legal. So fuck all you guys. It's it's legal. You can share with five friends, and he shared it with me, and um, it's fun. Yeah. I don't like desktop. Like, so it's based on the idea of desktop tower defense. Have you ever played that? Where you're putting down, you know, like arrows or cannons or ice shields, and all you do is you just like have guys coming on one end, yeah. and you're trying to get to the other. If they get to the other, yeah, 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 I played yeah. that. So it's that, except you know they add a little bit more where you can like you're a guy walking around the screen, uh-huh. and you have to go to a tree and then turn it into a tower, uh-huh. and then you can hang out in front of it and let it level. There's a couple of other aspects. Okay. You pick up gold, you buy other. But you're things. stopping people from coming through That's, the thing. It's the same concept. Same concept, but okay. it's done well. Yeah, for ten bucks. I, I would have paid for it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but you're giving a thumbs up. You're I'm saying it's, up. it's yeah, fun for, stuff? For 10 bucks, it's, it's solidly well done. It's yeah. fun if you like desktop tower defense. That's cool. I probably wouldn't have paid for it yeah. because I don't like desktop tower defense that is there, much. Is there demos of it, I wonder? Uh, like on 360. PSN? Oh, 360. Wait, but what? it's not on 360. Oh. It's only on PSN. Ah. Uh, so, no. So, no. Uh. Unfortunately. So, if PSN's <laughs> given a demo, then... Yes. Like, they should for every fucking game, like we keep saying... Do it. Demos. Please. Will make you so much money. 
Yes. Uh, let's let's swap the next two just because I've talked way too much already. All right, about so games. we got four more. Oh yeah, four more. <sighs> Um, wow. Misery re- yeah. recommended this to me. I think he's the one that kind of brought it into the noob tube he spectrum. He posted a forum. He's saying like, "Hey, check the- on our yeah. forums rather." He said, "Hey, check this game out." Blah blah blah. It's it's how would you describe it? Uh, it's, uh, it's it's a web game. It's a web game. It's kind of it kind of reminds me of some old BBS games like Food Fight. Mm, uh, yeah, in yeah, that, yeah, yeah. In that Dory. Respect. Yeah, it's like a door game mm-hmm. for those of you that who are not twelve, who are over twenty five. <laughs> See, I back guess. in the day, we, we, had, we had computers. Where you you get the phone, you call. put it on top. You could only one person could play it at, at a time. time, and you'd log in. You get ten minutes, and yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. cares. <laughs> so, so you're a hacksaw. And, yeah. And well, kind of. You're, you're not really a hacksaw. You're like you're a troll. You're, you're a forum or troll. A, or an emo or, kid. Or a cam whore. Or a cam whore. You can pick one of these classes, and you go out, and you're supposed to just thrash up on these forums. Yeah. But, the f- oh, sorry. It, it's really well done. Yeah. It's really it's it, it's very cool where it kind of brings you in. There's like little chat windows, uh-huh. and it makes it feel like it's your desktop. Yeah. Like I'm in a browser. Like, yeah. a, but I'm in a browser. But yeah. it's like I have my own special browser. But when, when's the last time you played like a free game? That, that had that kind of skills, obviously. I mean, like, this feels like somebody should buy it tomorrow. Well, like, it's but got would you skills. pay for it if it was on, like, it turned into an app and it was just like this window on you your desktop? You don't have to pay for shit, though, because they put ads on it, right? No, but, I'm saying, but, but, but what I'm saying is, like, if they packaged it up into a, an app where you download and you double-click no, and I launch wouldn't. it. See, yeah, exactly, right? But, but it, this I'm one, they're making, yeah. they're making some money off of yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. But, you know, it's like the idea's concept is very good because it's like... A standard RPG, a turn-based RPG, yeah. and you go to a forum and you battle with it, and you say like, "Okay, I'm gonna just drool on the keyboard." It's so <laughs> funny. What is it? We're just why, like, why you have like troll that? attacks. And what were you? I was a troll. Oh, I was I was an emo kid. <laughs> emo kid. <laughs> One of the attacks was whine about your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. So the whole thing is oh. just—it's all about. Everything that's familiar to us, oh, our yeah. generation, where it's just like mm-hmm. you know all these trolls on the websites, and you have to go to like different health sites and like yeah. you're, you know just making fun of ricer kids. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And, like and it's uh. so funny because they actually put a lot of thought into the content. Like you can actually yeah. read the forums that you're trolling. Yeah. And laugh. Yeah, because because they basically these people whoever made it have been on the internet since yes. 1993. Yes, you know what I mean. They know every single internet meme. They know about buying used panties on the net. Yeah. They know, right? They, who they, doesn't? Who really? doesn't? Right? But it's just like they take every single thing. It's just like, okay, I know where that's from. I know where that's from. Yeah. And it's even funny because when they ask you when you sign up, they say, "Do you know about Law Cats? Do you know about Tub Girl? Do you know about?" I don't know I what they use. Even I didn't even. Think about that. When yeah. you sign up, they ask you which memes you're familiar with, and they probably tune the content mm. for your knowledge. Either that, or they probably are going to tune future content or something like that. Right? That is really clever. Isn't that yeah. neat? Uh, uh, so, like, funny. and like, and like, the thing is, like, I actually didn't know about three out of the twenty. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't either. You know, I, I but it was just like blah blah blah. I'm like, what? But, yeah. but, but, like, out of twenty, I was just like, okay, this game's going to be for me. Yeah. If they know what all this stuff is. Yeah. So the whole thing is, you just go in and you thrash up in these forums, mm-hmm. and then people like thank you and give you money and yeah. credit and mm-hmm. and reputation. And then you go and you get better attacks and you do whatever. <laughs> but you can also make a guild, and there's a noob tube guild. Yes. On the fucking forum where Gent has set it up. He uh, he just set it up. He invited yeah. me. I haven't actually gone back in yet, but yeah. um, it's a free game. Yeah. I mean, what can we say? Go play. Here's what we can say. Yes. Forum, W-A-R-Z dot com. Yes, forumwars.com. And we uh, love it. Yeah. Um, go check it out and go check out the thread on the forums, our forums, yes. about it. And don't post, don't attack the forums. No, no, don't. Forum <laughs> attacks, don't cry about your parents. You know, some people actually do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have the ban hammer. Yeah, see, we do not take to trolls kindly. We no. go, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Forum Wars, go definitely go check it out. Uh, the next game, I want to thank Wes FX. Yeah. So um, this kind of went back to when uh, I don't know people were talking about retro games. But Pocket Migo made a post about retro games. Okay. And he did something about po- uh, uh, Kid Icarus. Yeah. And I read the, made this reply. So I'm look, man. Like I remember playing Kid Icarus. I I was like ten. Yeah. I saved my freaking paper route money for two months. Yeah. I bought that game and I was pissed. Kid Icarus is one of those weird games that everyone played it as a kid. Yeah. And it's ass it I, it's frustrating <laughs> it's poorly made it's poorly documented i, I think 98 percent of the people that played never beat the first level like i'm it's, serious it's fucking hard it's really it's but it's stupid hard because like the level is designed well at least the first level is designed where it's where you're jumping up yeah so you know each time but if you fall off you're dead mm-hmm. and when you're dead you're dead you start the game over from the beginning whole game's over and you start out with this much health if you get hit three times or four times you're dead whole game's over yeah so I died maybe 20 times. I got halfway up. I'm like, fuck this game. Fuck it in the anus. And that's what I did when I was a kid, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I had a lot more patience you back then. Just the Nintendo cartridge and just... 
Yeah. So thank you, West Effects, for giving me the game and letting me relive my memories of yes. hating this game. Of it but, not being good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket Migo, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, I hope you come back because he actually took a break because he's uh, moving back real quick. And oh, yeah? he like, posted all... Are you okay? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> I, I breathed in some wine. Ah, oh, gotcha. It doesn't... You know, it doesn't work as air no <laughs> it's weird like i thought wine just is good for everything yeah you can't breathe it um you tried injecting it the more you know <laughs> Ding. don't breathe wine wine for blood no i have tried injecting yeah okay it. that doesn't work either <laughs> you died i woke up <laughs> i died don't do this i've only kids. got two lives left <laughs> don't worry though you get a few more points we'll get yeah, an extra life right, i got an extra life all right so, kid, so Icarus's um, ass. kid icarus's ass but thank you for gifting it i yeah. think it's really cool have you have cool. you done any gifts for for people yet i have not I think once uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, oh, I think I would like to have that gifted to me. Yeah, nice. Because <laughs> I don't want to buy it. Um, all right. And the last up is uh, there was a Sins of the Solar Empire oh, yeah, we had 10 right? people. 10 people. Is that the most that can play? Uh, I don't Actually, I think more. Wow. We had like 100 planets. Wow. And we, had, we were split among two sp- Different solar systems. Wow! So it was cool, man. We like it was me, Kellen A on one side. We were fighting off fucking uh, Sunflower, Locke, and a guy, a guy named Tarnak. Yeah. And like we were, oh, I could go on, but it was just amazing. Was it epic? Was it, it just was like, epic? So it was good, like really good game. Like it's yeah. a great remember, multiplayer. Remember, I was telling you, it was like watching paint dry. Yeah. I could like get up. And go talk to my wife for a little while and come back. I'm like, okay, let me go play again. And but it's it, still just like It's still going. I'm like, oh, I have more credits now. Oh, let me go buy some more stuff. That's so weird. But it was fun. But it's like super fun, but it's so slow paced that you could <laughs> yeah. like get up and like take a yeah. dump, make <laughs> a sandwich. <laughs> it's just like, hey, hold on real quick. It's just like, I think I did use the restroom once as well. <laughs> People are like, user, where are you? Yeah, <laughs> but, shut up. But it's like you can spend as much time as you want. Obviously, you know, you can micromanage. You can you micromanage. Can kind of step back. Yeah, and like I would spend time like, oh, let me do some research today. I'd spend like two minutes there and like, oh, I'm getting attacked. Wow. And then you watch the attack and I could spend 30 minutes watching these carrier yeah. ships going pew, pew. So it's just really fun to watch. It's just fun to be involved in. <laughs> it's 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 almost like real war. It's like you're watching, you're like, you're, you're like, you like know. watching CNN. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like you're Adama, right? Uh, you're sitting in the fucking VSG and you're like, okay. And then you're sending Starbuck out and you see like fucking these little tiny pew pew ships. Like, frack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, if there's anything as close you're like to. like Adama, you dork. <laughs> <laughs> you knew what I was talking I about. <laughs> That's true. Touche. Touche. So, um, so uh, who won? Oh, we, so <laughs> we played three hours, yeah. and uh, Jam said, I got to go to sleep. So wow. we saved. Yeah. And it was this thing, like, you can save at any point, and, and then you come back? Yeah. So we're going to set up our new What if our only new nine of you came back or something? Like, so at any point, if the other people come back, you can tell them to be an AI. Oh. Isn't that awesome? Great game. I know. So what they, a well-made game. They did a really good job with this, and uh, Jam was toast. Right in the beginning, just got fucked. Just up. got fucked. Well, not in the beginning. Uh, James Con got yeah. fucked up. So like our team was just been fucking. So basically, like on the other solar system, it was Jam and um, some other guy. It was Nick, Gwenster, and Raskit. Yeah, and they just fucked James Con. Nice. And then they rolled over Jam, <laughs> right? And the other three guys are on the other side, right? So yeah. I'm all, and I'm like, you know, we're going back and forth with Sunflower. I'm holding him off. We were like, you know, it's like epic, huge yeah, battles yeah, yeah. with cruisers and all over yeah. the place, right? And then like. They're done, right? So they're going to, all three of them are going to come to our system and oh. stomp ass. Oh, man. So it's going to be, so when you guys re- We're going to win. Yeah. Basically. All right. All right. We're going to win. Nice. We'll see. So that sounds great. Yeah. I love noob tubers playing games together, man. Hell Just come yeah. to the forums and arrange these games. There's always people around that want to play. Hop on, and you will find people. something to do. Yeah. And good tubers. people. Yeah. Good people to play with. Okay. So we have uh, actually a lot of new releases. Yeah. This is probably the best week since November. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, we've already talked about most of these. We're mostly just going to list them because they're going to be played next week. Yes. Um, but uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Okay, we're, you're going to play it, right? You got to yeah. play it. I you have to play it. Yeah. You, even though you know it's going to suck, you got to <laughs> play it. <laughs> it's you, a you huge just game. made like 100 enemies. No, no, I said, you made 100 enemies because I'm going to give it a fair try. I think it's the best try. franchise ever. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> <full of shit. laughs> You are so full of shit. So yeah, so, we'll try it. We'll try it out. Um, we've already said before that it's not really our genre. No, it's too spazzy. It's a little too spazzy. Um, but hey, people are saying like opening night on the ninth, yeah. the Sunday, like new tube contest. Oh. So everybody's gonna get on a vent and then just basically challenge each other. See that? Are you gonna is appealing to me? Yeah. So midnight. So yeah. we could, that means we'd have to buy it at lunch. Buy it at lunch. That's gonna be tough. Uh, we'll to we'll, we'll to see. Ghetto Walmart again. <sighs> so, Dude, what's his name? Suck. What's his name? Uh, Oh, Vince. Vince! No, he was at Target, not yeah, Walmart. Right. Fuck yeah, Vince. Vince. Anyway. Yeah, fuck, fuck Vince. Um, so, so, we yes, got two mentioned it last week Brawl. because I fucked up. 
Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we had these other games that we said last week. We said there were new releases. Actually, none of you guys called us on it. Yeah. So that's cool. But um, we were wrong. <laughs> Army of Two and Bully are this week. Yes. And I uh, am fucking geeked about one? Bully. Really? Yeah. Because uh, I, I already played it, so I'm like, I'm gonna rent you didn't it. Beat it. No, I didn't beat yeah. it. So we're gonna do an IGC. Are yeah. you gonna actually participate this time? Yeah, I'm all. Because you didn't finish it, did you? No. How far did you get? Because uh, I got past Halloween, I think. I was like in bit. the town, and, okay. and I was, you know, beating people up. I, I okay. think there's like th- three or four acts. I are think you, I fe- beat like f- half of them. Are you gonna Are you gonna kiss twenty boys? I'm gonna kiss twenty boys. <laughs> I, I'm tongue. gonna kiss. I'm gonna kiss fifty <laughs> boys. There's even you an achievement. Even. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> That's gonna. That's all I'm gonna do. I don't even care about that's, anything who cares? else. Just I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna find the hidden achievement for kissing a hundred boys. <laughs> even if there is one, you're just gonna do it because that's 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 how you roll. <laughs> yes. So we will do start an IGC probably this week sometime. Yeah. By the I'm, time you've I'm already so pumped. Yeah. By the actually that's true. By the time this comes out, it'll already be out. The IGC will be on. Dude, you should because the thing is like we haven't really participated in IGC because you are hard when you like play find a game you like like Uncharted. There's no one stopping you, I'm dude. Unstoppable. You're it's unstoppable. True. Do you think you might do it this one? If even Bully if is it? as good as I think it's going to be, because it looks better. You're going to be a new contender. Content. I'm going to be a contender. Okay. You I will step here. to all these guys, and for like the first two days, I'll be ahead. Yeah. And then <laughs> all the noob tubers that don't seem to have jobs. Yeah. Will just be like, hey, I just played for 35 hours, and I'm ahead of you. But that's what you do. You like you will play a game for two days, and like it's true, not worth. It's true. And I'm, like and you, huh. <laughs> you'll be kind of <laughs> sick tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so I, I want to see it. I want to see Tobin up on the rank. All right, it's on. It'll be good. Um, Army of Two is also coming. Uh, out. Yes. So I'm a little bit excited about this. Yeah. I was excited before, but it was like I heard bad things. I'm gonna rent it. I'm gonna go check it out for sure, and we'll let you know. Oh, but this one, this one, this one, I'm excited about. Yeah, it's on the PSP. I know. Which almost loses my attention, but but it's God of War. The fucking God of War. Fucking Kratos. Come on, man. That's epic, dude. I. Mm. Kratos owns owns our face. Kratos, does Kratos own the nub, <laughs> <laughs> or does the nub own you? <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out though. So, uh, God of War: Chains of Olympus. It's on the PSP. Yeah. Everybody is saying that the controls are great. Fucking I don't know what finally. that means. I don't know what that means, but the controls are great. It could be the people on the PSP have such a low standard that if it's not <laughs> just like bloody anus, they're like they're, they're the okay. best thing ever. It's made. like slightly bloody than. It, it doesn't hurt that bad. I will. That, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm still it's alive. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah. You okay. know, little lube. So, yeah, that's okay. awesome. That, so yeah, there's a God of War coming out. I'm okay. I'm buying this. Like I haven't bought. I've rented most of my PS games. I haven't yeah. bought a PS game, but tomorrow. How how are we gonna do this next week? It's like. What do you mean? It's gonna be. I'm just saying that the number of games were just. It's um, gonna be crazy. I think we're not going to get to all of them. Yeah, <laughs> so, that is uh, probably the true answer. Yes. Uh, let's see. The next one I want to talk about quickly, Dawn of War Soulstorm. Okay. Uh, Dawn, it's Warhammer 40K, colon, yep. Dawn of War, colon, Soulstorm. Colon. 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 <laughs> colon blow. <laughs> colon blow. <laughs> so um, Warhammer, it's a pretty good RTS. I actually like the first few of the series. I haven't played the most recent expansion. Yep. But um, hopefully, I'm hoping a lot of the new tubers will get into this one and we'll be able to do some matches. Yeah. Do they have the, the Hand of Thor? <laughs> Hand of Thor. <laughs> what was the name of that? What was the name of that guy? The Gene Stealer. No, no, no. The guy, Commander, like Commander Lieutenant, something, Lieutenant something. Lieutenant yeah, Snappy Pants. Yeah, watch, watch those old fucking. So, bits. you think you're gonna check that out? Um, eventually, if, maybe if, like a if everybody else does. Everybody else says, "Oh, we're doing all these things," and I'm like, "Okay," but it's just like I have to buy it. It's like yeah. PC games. So PC games. But maybe I'll buy it and give it away. That's not a bad idea, right? We if, can still if people do that. are showing a lot of interest in the forums, we, we should. We'll, we'll look into because yeah, we need to spread the love. If we just buy PS3 games or 360 games. I think yeah. people will get a little pissed off, right? We just gotta we gotta spread the love where people are interested. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. So um, the not, last one up, I haven't heard of this one before. So um, I haven't either. There was a game called AD 1701 back in 2006 on the PC. It is kind of like a city builder game, like Caesar. I'm you're gonna start falling asleep real yeah. soon now. Yeah. Of uh, city builder and RTS kind of mixed together, and like it's set in back in the 1700s with. All right. So, Whoa. anyhow, it's a it's a niche game, yeah. but a lot a lot of people loved it, and it's actually on the DS. And like, I wouldn't really pay attention that much to these city builder games because yeah. I haven't found a really good one in a long time. But I saw the videos it of this good. one, and it looks like how in the world did they get? How did they shove this complicated of game into the DS? And it looks like it works. Mm. There's like all these tabs with your tax advisors, and you're like circling them, and like holy crap! And like they have radial menus with like 20 options. Did they add like higher resolution to the DS somehow magically? No, like, no. it's all tile based but isometric. Wow! So I was looking. I'm like, I'm, I want to check this out. So right. um, right. we'll let you guys know. Yeah, I, we'll I don't know, you know if I can get into it 
this week, but we'll see. Yeah, this week's looking a little fierce. Yeah. So that is that is it for the uh, for the new releases. My God, my God, um, so that's six games in each, dude. We haven't done that in a long time. We seriously haven't. This is called Tobin edits this episode for six hours. Is what yes, this is called. so <laughs> finds five billion videos. Oh to my God. There. So. Okay. Next up, site news. Yeah. Um, you all may have noticed something on the forums. Um, they're a little slow. It's called pain. Pain. So um, we have grown by leaps and bounds faster than we ever thought was possible. Yeah. Turns out DreamHost doesn't scale as well as we'd no. hoped. No. Uh, when you're doing it on a shared host, you're there with about 20 other people, and they're kind of hoping that they don't actually do anything. Yeah. All 20 doesn't do anything, but I think we're stuck on people with running porn sites, so probably. This is a good thing, because what this means is that NoobTube has gotten big yeah. We've, we've gotten big enough to warrant our own server. On the other hand, we've gotten big enough to warrant our own server. Yeah, so, and those cost a little more money than... Well, how much are you paying on DreamHost right now? Uh, <laughs> playing like 10 bucks a month. Yeah, nothing, so, so. Uh, we're going to be spending probably about 100 maybe more if we need it for the bandwidth. Yeah. So um, we're going to start out with like with like a 70 buck a month server. We're going to start like out and... and so we're going to have to have a pledge drive. Yes. Uh, we're not going to make a big deal about it. We don't want to be at this all month. Yeah, we don't want to push it too much. But... <clears throat> Um, if you use the forums a lot, if you're if you're irritated about how slow they are, please Help pledge. Uh, yeah. Please come to NoobTube. Click on one of the donate buttons. Yeah. As soon as we get like seventy bucks a month donated, yes, we're gonna go and get a dedicated server. The forums will be fast. Everything will be fast. The wiki will be fast. Yep. No, uh, front page will be fast. Front page will be fast. Downloads from iTunes, all that stuff. Will and open. it won't be down. Like I don't know if you guys. Sometimes you guys want to go get the newest episode. The site goes down. Yeah. Guess what? It's like we, when Dreamhost goes down, we like we don't have anybody to call. So we're Nothing. gonna get somebody with a twenty four seven support. But uh, the main thing with the donation on the sidebar, you'll see recurring. And what we're looking for is more recurring. So people that donate every month, and even if it's a little bit, like three or four bucks or five bucks, that's cool. Yeah. But like what we're hoping is like if we get seventy dollars worth of recurring, we're good. We're good. We're good. So and that's what we're hoping for. Please, uh, please help, help us the out. YouTube server <laughs> pledge drive. Please, that is all. <clears throat> okay. So uh, thank you, Weed Smoker. Yeah, Weed Smoker. Last um, week. Uh, yeah. Did, you, did he have enough? I guess he had enough weed. Apparently, <laughs> Apparently. and he spoke <laughs> weed like W I I. Oh, did he? Smoker. Oh, maybe he's so he's like, yeah, it's uh, like, huff, huff. <laughs> 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 uh, let me light it for yeah. you. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> that's actually blinking. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, don't God, do, don't do drugs. Don't do kids. drugs, kid. Ah, you're such a terrible influence. <laughs> you are too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so um, thank you, we smoker. He's he donated uh, ten bucks a month. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thanks. You all may have noticed what last two episodes. The intro is fucking sweet. Yes, like explosive. It looks electric, like three D, three D floating through space. Um, we we Who's that thanks to uh, thanks to very much to Creep Man. Creep Man. He's our man in Argentina. Yeah, yeah. he like busted out of nowhere too. We didn't even ask him. No. He was just like, "Hey guys, check it out. New intro." It's like I spent six hours on it. Blah blah blah. Boom, and it looks amazing. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Yeah, so that's it. That's the new Noob Tube intro. Uh, thanks to Creep Man. If you see him on the forums, oh yeah, drop that boy a newbie. Yeah, he did. He posted it there on the forums first. Yeah, so give him a newbie and uh, just let him know how what you guys thought of it. Yeah, because everybody everybody on YouTube has been saying it's the shit. Uh, we love it. Oh yeah, everybody loves it. Yeah, it looks makes us look a little more professional. It's I pretty... know we're we're fooling everyone. I know. Soon people it's will like... think that we're total professionals. <laughs> they don't realize we're in your kitchen. We're right in the kitchen. <laughs> There's a stove over there. <laughs> There's my fridge. Uh, yeah, it's just like oh, you need to wash your dishes too. <laughs> I need to wash my dishes. <laughs> Oh, it's messed up. It's, it's my awesome. rice maker. All right. Um, okay. Oh, one other thing I want to mention. We do have the metric Astoner crap where people buy crappy games, yes. review them, send us some videos, and send us the game. And guess what we got? Oh, Drake's Forge. Or not Drake's Drake? Fortune. Drake? No, <laughs> Drake. Of- <laughs> that, that would not be crap. No, that would not be crap. Uh, Drake of the 99 Dragons. Cow Launcher Cow from Launcher. Minnesota. Thank you, you very much. You all may remember this was a couple episodes ago. I think Cow Launcher. episode, maybe. No? Yeah, he sent in his video. It looked like ass yeah it, and i'm looking at it now it's like it ass. is ass oh Double ass. it didn't have the price oh uh, two bucks three bucks how something. much you pay for this <laughs> so thank you for sending that in that's and awesome. uh here's our our, our our stack yes when this gets yay, yay high. high someone's gonna win yes we're gonna send it out and one of you guys will win <laughs> <laughs> haunted mansion Woo! oh god that's awesome. all right um and the next up we have a interesting new feature yeah, we were. We will, I think that we should make this kind of a thing. I like it. I like it too because there are games that we don't get to play that a lot other of games. people really like. Yeah, and they're a lot like, of games. why don't you review blah blah blah? And, and like, you know, it's like, and our response is, well, fucking you review it in sixty seconds and we'll play it on the show. How about that? And you know, like we said that to Magenta. We said, hey, those are like blah blah blah. I like yeah. Lost Odyssey. Why aren't you guys playing it? It's just like we don't like JRPGs anymore. And guess what? He plays it. He loves it. Yeah. So uh, here is Magenta reviewing Lost Odyssey in 60 seconds, the first of maybe many Hopefully on YouTube. Many. So nice send thing. in yours if you do it. 
Magenta here, and as requested, Lost Odyssey in 60 seconds. Lost Odyssey is its heart a JRPG, nothing more and nothing less. If you're looking for more, then you're probably an idiot. Uh, the story is character-based political intrigue, much like Final Fantasy XII. The writing is amazing, and the backstory given to you throughout keeps everything so wonderfully in your mind that you can't help but empathize with the characters. Whilst the gameplay is nothing new and a mix of Final Fantasies new and old, you're constantly encouraged to swap up your party and keep things fresh that way. The graphics are interesting, uh, and the soundtrack is amazing. The voice acting is also very good. My main complaint is the difficulty on the boss fights is completely out of scale of everything else, but if you can find a good strategy, no problem. This is the game Blue Dragon should have been. Thumbs up if you like JRPGs, thumbs down if you're finding them stale by now. But if you can get past that, it's got a great story to offer you and you won't be disappointed. Yow. Wow. That's a great review. That's a really good review. Because he did it NoobTube style. That's right. He says, thumbs, thumbs up, up if, if you like JRPGs, thumbs down if you don't. That's straight up. No numbers. No numbers. You don't need numbers. That's not how we roll. No. We don't give it, we don't give it a thumb point five. <laughs> <laughs> we do give sideways thumbs occasionally, know, but we stopped. Uh, we stopped. We're not, that's. No. That's not cool. That's right. It's binary. <laughs> So yeah, thank you very much. Hopefully we can get a few more of those in uh, for good games yep. as well as bad games. So we have metric ass ton of crap, metric ass ton of not Something. not crap, not crap. That's right, metric ass ton of win. I, I like just you know X in sixty seconds. I love it. That's I good. love it. And the cool thing is, is we're not going to review these games. We get a bunch of JRPG fans that be like, oh, yeah. hey, you know, I wasn't yeah. going to get that game, but Magenta said it's good. He likes JRPGs. Absolutely. Boom. And it's so, like I know his track record. NoobTube so, spreads the knowledge. Mini reviews, man. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, oh, I'm excited about this one. Dig too. push. Yeah, so let's. Uh, we have a special message from you from Locke. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump. Hey everyone, this is Locke, your street team captain, and I'm calling the whole NoobTube army out to do a dig push. We need to take NoobTube to the next level, and we're doing so using dig. Um, it's going to be done in three easy steps. Go register for dig, dig the podcast, and dig other things, otherwise our digs for NoobTube won't count. Um, we want everyone to do their part in promoting the site and this amazing place, and we owe it to Yuzo and Tobin and all of ourselves to make this community the best that it is and expose it to everyone out there. And this is going to be a great way to get NoobTube um, shown to the world. Um, the number one podcast right now is 1UP, and they only have about 2,500 digs. And with our numbers, I think we can shatter that and easily hit number one, as well as get on the dig front page, just bringing more and more users out and get more ranks to the NoobTube army. Um, I'm making a thread if you're watching this video and you can see it in there, all the instructions on how to do that. And uh, get out there and start digging, soldiers. Good luck. Yow. Yes, sir. You sir, yes, sir. <laughs> That's awesome. It makes you feel like that. It's I know. Like, it's just like, oh, I, I, time to roll out. So, General Yuzo. Yes, how, Admiral Tobin. How did, <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Yuzo. <laughs> how, how did we do? Oh, uh, we did amazing. So, when we started out last week, we were at 98th place. 98th with place. 31 digs. With 31 digs. And that was the seventh page. Yeah. Today, we are number 29. 29, son. 214 digs. Yes. And on page number two. That's right. We went up 70 places wow. in one week. That's amazing. The NoobTube army is unfucking stoppable Wow. So, um, WoW Radio is... Yes, the, they're right above us. They're right above us. What, no, no, it's just not WoW Radio. WoW Radio has like 20 of them. It's WoW Radio fucking user interface. An entire podcast about the WoW UI. We can beat that. We can beat that. We can beat that. We so, just need one. Yeah. To beat that. Well, just like one below? Yeah. So you guys have been doing an awesome job. Keep it up right now. Pause this podcast. Go to dig.com. Register. Register. Dig a bunch of other stuff. Dig a bunch of other stuff. And then dig NoobTube in the podcast section. And next week, I want to hear that we're in the top 
Oh, the first page. I nice. want to be on the first page. What, yeah, we need like page? we need like four hundred, I think, to get on the first page. We can do it. We can do it. Bring us on the front page. So All good right. job, guys. So far, the Noob Tube Army is fucking awesome. Awesome. We have two contests because yes. we like to give out the games and love stuff. Love it. Giving shit King... away. I know. Isn't it awesome? I love it. Yeah. It's like fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> ho ho ho, bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> we like ho ho ho, bitches. <laughs> That's right. Um, so this. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> All right. King of Kong DVD is a contest right now where you draw an 8-bit version. There's some good stuff, dude. I Have saw you seen it. the most recent one? No. Zombie Kong. So it's basically you, right, as, yeah. as Mario, yeah. and, you, and zombies are coming down the little rickety thing. I'm, I'm the fucking girl at the top, right? So fuck that. But anyhow. Nice. But, and then, like, you know, there's box wine bonuses. It's awesome. That is fucking so I haven't seen yeah. that yet. Yeah, you should go check it out. It's really All right, good. So, Great job, guys. That is so cool. So you guys have been doing uh, – so you're just making any sort of 8-bit art related to pretty much anything Donkey Kong Noob Donkey Kong or King of Kong. Or King of Kong. Um, and we're giving – when are we ending the contest? Uh, probably in about a week or two. Okay. So when the contest, put out to vote, and the winner gets – King of Kong DVD, yes. which is an amazing movie. And the next one up is the Devil May, Four, Devil May Cry 4 contest. Yes. May or may not. We're not sure. We're not sure. Um, so we're giving away Devil May Cry 4. Yeah. And uh, the way that this one works is a cosplay contest. So you dress up as some sort of video game character or something I like that. I love this. Isn't that awesome? I love this contest. I know. We're starting to get people. So it was a I've little I've been seeing iffy. people trash talking, by the way, like on the chat like thing on, on NoobTube.com. Yeah. People like, oh, you don't understand what I've got coming. I've got this whole cosplay oh, thing. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see. We'll see. Because the important thing is you have to have like noob, like the word NoobTube or some sort of NoobTube thing in the picture so you don't grab one off the internet. So we know you didn't steal it. And you do it more recently, basically. Mm-hmm. And like, But the thing is, like, some people are doing anime stuff and it's just like, that's not how we roll, yeah. even if there's a video game or a movie base. Try to do a video game because those ones will get the most votes. We're fucking gaming podcasts. That's, that's why. Right. Absolutely. So bring it. Um, and then, oh, shoop, 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 Love it. So, noob, shoop, shoop. Number 13, Celia, rocking the house. That's right. Um, we have some actually pretty good stuff. Yeah. She, f- she freaking used some of those screenshots we told her not to. I know. I know. <sighs> it, it, there's no, there's no way around it. Every no. week we're gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna make a ridiculous face. You're uh-huh. gonna, I'm gonna a, do something. I'm gonna, gonna do the Spider-Man, Spider-Man some shit. I wonder. I haven't done it in a while. I hope. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Like, are you just like keeping your? I'm hands like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna like do the entire podcast. But the winner right. of this week was Panics yeah. with Professor Obvious, which is hilarious. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's like the one. It's basically like a puzzle in uh, Professor Layton. Yeah. And the top one is just it shows a picture of us like circle the host that is Asian. <laughs> So awesome, <laughs> and then it's like, and then your face is pictured, and it's yeah. like incorrect, incorrect. <laughs> oh. So um, uh, we've got it up to fifteen people per week now. Yeah, the polls, um, and people have just been dropping hilarious shit every week, and they really spend a lot of time making it awesome. Yeah, and it's just the thing is like everybody is pushing the bar for like every week. Yeah, the best one is better than the previous. I know. One, you know what I mean? I know. It makes it. it it's so cool. Oh, it's amazing. You guys are a creative bunch. Yes. Uh, okay. Noob Arcade. So we are number 17, week 17. This thing yes. is going strong. We have Geometry Wars Clone. Thanks to Kiran Solo. It's Kiran Solo. Strong. Yeah, uh, so the last week's winners were Fat Minimu and Noob Floss, because uh, there's a couple of weeks where we were off a bit. But uh, this next one I'm a little excited about, but I tried it. So I tried yeah. the Geometry Wars yeah, Clone yeah. because I was going to participate. It's not very good. Oh. Well, because it's in Flash, and like the, 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 what is it? The, the collision detection is really bad. Oh. So nothing's more frustrating than getting... I got to about 50K, yeah. which in the high school right now is 80, 80 yeah. or something like that, right? I got pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just like I would play and then like my bullet would go through the enemy and then – but then, then the enemy would touch me and I'd die. So ah. I'm like – it doesn't make me want to play more, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see what the scores will be. You get with free games. Dude, shit. We should have had – I guess there aren't really po- – no, there are points on Forum Wars. We should have that as a, as a noob tube arcade game. Yeah, but what though? To like reach the level – because there's a, there's a cap because they're going to do episodic content. Uh, okay. So you, like whoever can reach the level 10 first okay, or something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll talk about we'll it. We'll see. Um, and then the last one is listener homework. What game did you want to go back and play and finish? Like what game? That you didn't. Did you? Yeah. What game did you? Did you disrespect? Oh god, you know, so you're like, many. You're like, a game deserved better. Yeah. It's like one of those ex girlfriends where you're like, oh. Oh, I wish I would have. I should have treated you better, honey. <laughs> I should have taken you out more. I should have paid attention to you. Listen you know, to you yammer about nothing. Take her, take her out to subway. That's Just right. Did not, did not That's work right. out. No. She wanted, she wanted, <laughs> she, wanted <laughs> she wanted red lobster. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking Burger King. <laughs> All right, we're not yeah. even talking about games anymore. No, exactly. Um, what game did you want to finish? Oh, I know a what bunch. game you should have finished. Which one? Mario Galaxy. <sighs> Mario Galaxy was the I was shit. close, too. I'm really close. That's no, I, I'm going to. Yeah. When it's a lull, when there's a big yeah. lull, I'm going to come back. When I'm 80, I'm going to finish. Like, that's how many stars I need. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I No, but uh, I think, you know, the one that I really regret was probably Okami. 
That's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, because I, be I got pretty far, and I'm like, you know, I kind of want to keep on playing, but there's yeah. like Bully came and a bunch of other big games yeah. played, and like, it's hard to go back. That's it's a, weird. Yeah. I can't I can't go back and pick up a game for some reason. I, I have a hard time with that, too. I actually yeah. felt that way about the, uh, shit, what was the one under, under uh, Overlord? Overlord. Oh, Overlord. Yeah, I felt that way about or- Overlord, yeah, but I felt you like tried it deserved it up, a little though. bit more respect than I gave it because I went back mm-hmm. and it was so bad at helping you pick up where you left off and I'm like, fuck you. And that was but a- I didn't try all that hard, right? I was yeah, just kind of no, no. like, I was like, uh... But that is, is that a game that you'd pick for this? Or no. Is that different, like, what, I mean, yeah. I, that's the first thing that came to mind. I know that everyone's going to be like, Bioshock! Yeah, but you don't You don't want to go back to play Bioshock, right? What is- I, I, I know that I should, though. Like, I yeah. know... I, I, I realized that I didn't give it the respect it deserved, but it's the same thing. It's hard to go back and play a game. It is. Especially when you made it like several hours in because you know yeah. to give it the right respect mm-hmm. you got to start over uh, maybe if depending, you played Okami you wouldn't start your save game that's ridiculous because you not? wouldn't remember all the breast but strokes. dude I played so long I yeah. played like I put like 20 hours into that game so there's no way I'm going to do the other 20 hours again yeah but I mean but I mean, like Okami's one of these things where you have to have like 8 brush strokes memorized you have to remember yeah. what you're doing you'd have to like read game facts for an hour yeah, to be ready but it's to better play to open. read game facts for an hour than play the game for twenty hours. Touche, right? touche. Uh, but no, I think Bioshock would be one that would be good. But you're right. It's it, it, not only is it hard because um, it's hard to get into the games, but it's hard because we have fucking Super Smash Brothers, Army of Two, Bully, Bully. God of War. So, Word. Like when you do a podcast, it's hard to go back. Mm-hmm. Just I, I, people don't realize. Yeah. That. Because I'll be like, I'll be like, time I beat Bioshock. Let me tell you how good it was. Yeah. Everyone's like, fuck you, Bioshock is old. Yeah. Old. And they're like, why aren't you talking about X, yeah. Y, and Z? Yeah. So eh. play Fire Emblem. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not. No. Um, okay. Yeah. So next we have up, a lot of voicemails. We have some voicemails and jokes and jokes. All right. Hmm? Carnage seven forty five. Speaking of Bioshock. What's up? It's Cloud eight seven four five from the forums. Just had to say, your freaking show is awesome. It's a freaking amazing. Watch it every day. Gives me the best tips on everything to buy. Guys save me so much money. And Tobin. You can't beat Bioshock. It's too awesome for you. Yeah! Did did he just call you? Yes, I can. Did he just call you a pussy? I can totally beat Bioshock. Wait. Wait a minute. (laughs) Was that reverse psychology? I think that was. You almost got me. You almost got me. (laughs) Almost. I don't know how he watches uh, NoobTube every day. Maybe he has been watching all of the previous episodes all the way back starting Have you seen? There's been some people now on YouTube that are like... This episode's great. This is my third time watching it. That's weird. As I say, what? Like, I, uh, I mean, you're waiting for like that, like user to get naked on the <laughs> third time. Like, this, never the show's the same every time. <laughs> Maybe they they get extra meaning and depth. That's true. Of like, all of our like, new. Oh, I see the the symbolism. We're not exactly like of when they said anus. <laughs> A hundred times. <laughs> We're not a subtle show, no. so we appreciate it, but yeah. uh, cool. Yeah. I mean, no, awesome. what, what I think is even cooler is when people actually go back and watch every single episode back to episode one. Some Listen, people do that. Some people do that. They're like, I just fell in love with you guys' podcast. We're going to go back and watch every episode. Isn't it kind of depressing, though? Because we, we that means we get worse. <laughs> You know what That's I mean? true. It's just like, wow, they're, they kind of suck. It's true. If you watch our shows as we make new ones, every yeah. week we get better. Hopefully. If we got more shit to give away. We exactly. Get it's like, like you go back and we're just like... Oh. This week's game. This week we played uh, a free Stop. game. Oh, no, don't let me interrupt you, Zo. Wait, what? We, 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 no, 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 we can always talk at the same time. Yeah. yeah, I know. Oh, God. Just like if I watched episode 23, our very first video, we we're just sitting back and yeah. we're just like, yeah. we didn't even drink wine. We had no wine. Somebody pointed that out in episode yeah. 23. They're like, where's the wine? I'm like, oh my God, that was pre wine. I think we started on 27 or something, something like, like that. that. We yeah. realized that we were too sober to do this show. Yeah, and then the show immediately improved. It just blew up. All of a sudden, we're just like, wow, now we're much more energetic. <laughs> exactly. Woo. Thanks Next so up is Ollie, Ollie underscore SR. Ollie Senior? Sure. Hey, Noob Tube. This is Ollie underscore SR from the forums. Uh, at some point, you guys asked, what was the dumbest thing you've heard from a GameStop employee? And. Uh, so it's the coolest coincidence. I was walking in, and a parent was buying an Xbox 360 for his little kid or whatever, and uh, he said, he asked, uh, are the people on the Internet pretty friendly? And the GameStop guy's like, yeah, the community's pretty friendly. And I'm like, idiot. <laughs> and so two days later, the same guy comes back, returns the Xbox 360. So, yeah, people shouting on the mic. Not good people. GameStop employees, not good people. So, yeah, that's my story. All right. Yo! (laughs) 
nice. <laughs> nice cough at the end. Yeah, he's like, Ugh. I think uh, Lucian's was a little, a little longer than that. Lucian's, he took a breath in the middle. He that did. was ridiculous. He did, yeah. It was the longest, yeah, but close. Yeah. Um, thanks for the story. I think you're, you're right. GameStop employees, I mean, not all of them, because there's some GameStop YouTube listeners, apparently. Yes. You know what you should do if you hear something like that happening? You'd be like, that is not true. On Xbox, everyone's a jackass, except mm-hmm. come to NoobTube.com That's right. and find the best community on the planet. Absolutely. If you go and everybody, if you go to the forum right now, every single person has a, a gamer tag. And yes. if you go on the wiki, everybody has a gamer tag. Yep. If you just add a bunch of them, you you're can actually good find gaming. good people to play. Yep. So, um, yeah, and you're right, too, because like I was playing these rules, and like some people make it their goal. Like in the between rounds, yeah. they just try to get every single obscenity out of their mouth. They just go there like fuck shit, piss, piss blah, blah blah blah, and just like, and we're like, uh, start the match. What is the point? I don't know. I actually, so I honestly don't know. I mean, maybe it's I well. And know. then there's always the, the ones that you hear, like that we see the most is the stream of consciousness gamers. Oh, yeah, we're just annoying. like seriously, it's just like someone hooked their asshole up to their mouth, mm-hmm. and it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and just shit. Yeah, just just, just ran just, a, like just. I was talking. eating at Taco Bell today, yeah. and blah blah yeah. blah, and like put I'm a playing fucking a game. filter between your brain and your mouth. Yes, just put it in. No, you know, I like people like when I'm playing Call of Duty or whatever. Like, I'm people like oh, I'm taking, I'm taking, you know, point B. Like, yeah. help me out. Like, save, you know, that kind yeah. of shit. Like, when it's about the game, but it's like when you're having this long and like things. Like, sometimes during our, our noob tube things, you know, a few people they're just I don't know what they are. They, they like talk. They just talk and talk. And I'm like, I- I'm trying to play a game. <laughs> so then there's this really good quick mute function that I have oh, to use. Nice. But no, no, it's just yeah. like it just happens, and yeah. I don't understand why people want to tell their life story. No. Do you know why? There's someone, someone listening. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like I'm not. I'm like, not a one nine hundred number. Yeah, you know? you're sitting at home. Someone's <laughs> listening. You know, just like oh, oh god, thank god I've got fake friends. Yeah, gotta love the mute. But uh, that or they can abuse people without any repercussions. I think right? that's what it is. It's Which just like is... oh, you can do a reputation thing against me. Big yeah. whoop. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Can you do games where you say nobody can start join my game unless they have a reputation of two stars or above? No, I don't think so. That'd be badass. A reputation filter. <laughs> But I, the reputations don't mean anything because just everybody that talks shit, they just all their friends give each other good reputation. Oh, uh, right? okay, okay. Yeah. Well, fuck it then. Just, oh, well. just be friends with noobtubers and fuck everyone else. That's right. That's my solution to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Next one up is Tommy Thunderlips. Oh, he's a big shooper. Yeah, huge. Hey, this is Tommy Thunderlips from the forums. Uh, just wondering, uh, with Grand Theft Auto Four coming out. Um, and the special edition with the lock box and the bag and the keychain. Have you guys ever felt like you kind of got ripped off for the extra money with your special editions, uh, like uh, Assassin's Creed with the little figurine that's like an inch tall, uh, and you're paid extra money for that? Do uh, you guys think it's a good idea for them to keep doing that, or do you guys think that they should just give it up and uh, it, make it worthwhile or just don't do it at all. Um, all right, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Bought Assassin's Creed, <laughs> dude. A lot of people bought Assassin's Creed. Why? Dude. It sold like over a hundred thousand, like a million copies. It's ridiculous. Nobody. Th- those obviously those people don't listen to Noob Two. No, they don't. But uh, special editions. I got uh, screwed over by a special edition recently. Um, Enemy Territories, Quick Wars. Okay. I don't know why I did it. I bought it because it came with an extra DVD or something like crap, and yeah. I ne- I haven't even looked at it yet. So it's like, uh, you know. So you gotta re- oh, God. But there are a couple special editions which I kind of wish I did. So, like, okay. the Bioshock special edition comes with a little mini Big Daddy figurine. Uh-huh. That's worth it to me for 10 bucks, right? I mean, it's a little nice piece of plastic, whatever. It's good. Not to me. Not to you. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, a lot of them, like, uh, what we bought the, remember we bought the Lost Planet special edition? That sucked. That was. That was a waste of money. That was a waste of money. What did that come with? An extra plastic wrapper? It was like a. In, like, a, a metal tin case. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? We did get a t shirt which was ass. Yeah, that's that kind of sucked too. <laughs> I don't, I don't buy special edition shit. I don't think it's worth it. Like, I buy games for games. Um, mm. I'm really not very interested. Like, they never give away the shit that I'd want. Like, if they gave away like a cool T-shirt, mm. but they'll always have something where it'd be like Leisure Suit Larry, so it comes with like dirty panties or some shit, or like some stupid yeah. little figurine that I'm never. I don't want but another what, oh, figurine. How about this? I got, I got the special fucking edition for you. What's that? A ratchet special edition with a little mini ratchet and a little mini crank clank. Don't tell me you wouldn't pay an extra 10 bucks for that. I probably would. An Uncharted special edition with, I don't know, fucking a poster of Nick Drake that you can see. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't and do that. And, yeah, I wouldn't would. do that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't you do sleep it. with a knife. I don't like, well, okay, maybe. If it's, if it's a full size <laughs> yeah, Drake <laughs> blow up doll <laughs> with working orifices, <laughs> then you'd be all over that. Okay. There you go. But maybe $20 more. All right. So, yeah, give us. Bl- <laughs> 
give us <laughs> give us blow up sex toys with our games. That'll be worth it. Done. But yeah, for the most part, it's really a cash in. The only reason I would say to buy a collector's edition, the only reason, not because of the blow up dolls, is because um, I'm just thinking Tomb Raider becomes much more attractive oh, to me. Yeah, it does. No, <laughs> but uh, if you're gonna buy it to resell on eBay right away, collector's then, edition, then you're kind of an asshole. No, I'm saying if you're doing the rent, to yeah. rent, oh, okay, the rent okay, process, okay, right? Yeah, yeah okay, you just okay. want it because you can't yeah. get it at Blockbuster. So you okay. buy it yourself. Collector's editions retain their value for that amount of time yeah. a little better. Okay, that's true. A that's little true. better. If you're if you're really trying to play the odds and 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 just buy a game, play it, and rent it, like and sell it right out, blah, right blah, away, blah, 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 right yeah. away. Because yeah. the thing is, like, like I I bought Final Fantasy XII Special Edition. I don't know why. That is not going for much more than the no. original version. They're both no. going for like five dollars. So, sadly, just because that game wasn't all that good. Um, I liked it. I know you did, but you're still selling it. So, <laughs> know, how know. much do you really like it? Not much. Um, Eastman. Oh. Hey guys, this is Eastman from the forum. Just telling you, you guys have one of the best co- podcasts I've ever seen before. I'm calling in just to tell you that you guys mentioned you don't know Jack on an earlier podcast, and I was, you know, scanning through Joystick yesterday, and I saw it and. I tried it out, and I loved it, and I don't think I would have tried it out if you guys hadn't mentioned it. So, you know, just saying it's awesome, thanks, you know, thanks for mentioning, and thanks for everything. You're welcome. No, yeah, though. You're unwelcome. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I love the fact that we just find these random, I'm hoping people do that with Forum Wars, because it really is a good one. Yes. But, like, you don't know Jack, it's a little web game, it's good. It was big in, like, 98, right? It was yeah, big yeah. back in the day. And it's still good. It's, like, it's, the, it's quality. So, right, because um, it's not all about the graphics, it's all about the content. Yes, the wit. Yeah. The rapier um, wit. So, we love that. When we can dig up something old that we liked back in the day that you guys maybe hadn't heard of, you go like out and play perhaps it. perhaps Kickle Cubicle. Kickle fucking Cubicle. <laughs> oh, shaw. Sure. So yeah, um, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, next one up is Biohazard. Mm. What's up, Newtube? It's Biohazard from the forum. I just want to know how rich do you reckon you'd be if you hadn't bought any shitty games? And I also <laughs> think um, Tobin, you should buy a dress for Newtube. All right. See ya. I'm not gonna say yow. Well, I just did, but. I'm not gonna say it. Shut up. That ended in a weird. That note. was weird. Like, th- like is Noobtube a girl you were trying to impress, or what? Like, what? Like, and why? Why do you want me to buy a dress? I, uh, not sure. Very confusing. I want to do that. As far as uh, not buying shitty games, I've spent way too much on shitty games. It's probably thousands of dollars at this point. I think so. Life Over life, lifelong, lifelong. I think it might even might even hit ten thousand. I'm serious, right? Games are fucking expensive. Games 40, are expensive, 50, 60 bucks. Especially if you consider money that we've spent on shitty games in arcades. Oh, like, God. I mean, if you add everything in, if you want to like, oh, get all oh, crazy. Oh, I didn't want to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was buying shitty games way back when I had a TI-99 for a. No, because before, before Blockbuster got into all the, the rental games, we had to buy everything, and we didn't even have eBay to sell everything on. It's so. true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, we would have a lot of money. So hopefully you guys can watch the show and avoid the shitty games. Yep. Um, do you think we have time for one more? We got the I think minutes. we got uh, for the next one real quick. All right, yeah. real quick. Hey, guys. This is X from Santa Cruz. And I was just wondering, uh, I've gone back and I was looking at some of the previous podcasts on iTunes, and I was wondering, um, <clears throat> so where do you guys see this show going in the future? I know that someone's asked that before, but I was just wondering if your thoughts uh, have changed. On that topic, um, I see the new intro that looks really great, and I'm just wondering if you guys are looking to get more professional than this or just kind of keeping it mellow. All right, y'all. Uh, you know where I see YouTube going? Where? Fucking your mom. <laughs> that's where YouTube's that's, going. That's about it, YouTube right? YouTube will be fucking your mom. <laughs> Pretty much. That's all I got. Yeah, I don't. I don't got anything. Um, we're we're getting bigger every day. We're getting more fans. We're having more fun. We're getting more money. We're giving away more games. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing, we'll keep it real. We'll keep it real. Because, Forever. Because we don't want to be Joystick. We don't want to be... No, well, Joystick's cool, but we don't want to be one up. We don't want to be a lot of these other big sites that just get paid for reviews. We just nope. Wanna... All right, so that's our show for the week. Check out our website at NoobTube.com. Participate in our forums by clicking on the forum tab at the top of the page. Word, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right over here. Yeah. Also, rate this video with five stars by touching the junk of doom. Blah, 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 blah. 
Oh! Kalimon! <laughs> That's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. Audio engineering is done by Range. First cut is the deepest struck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out! Yeah. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Hello, welcome back. Blah, blah, blah. This is my house. I got a nice backyard with a trampoline and a dog.